It's the Daily Dog. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for hanging out with me today for another song reaction and breakdown. I am back at the piano over here at the church where I work, and I'm happy to bring you today another uh, submission from one of the folks on the YouTube channel. It was kind of a personal submission from Juan. Thank you, Juan, for uh, su submitting this. Uh, this is uh, a band from Mexico that I have never heard of before, and uh, I thought it would be very interesting to give them a try. And I spot checked this a little bit last night, and it sounds very, very interesting. So I wanted to alert all of you about it. If you're into Prague uh, and just some interesting music, this is really cool stuff. So um, this is a band called Saena. It's S-A-E-N-A. -E I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Saena? Uh, this was found. This band is founded uh, in Mexico by Jose Luis Fernandez Ledesma. He's on guitar and keyboards, and also by uh, Margarita Botello, who is on vocals and keyboards. They are joined by a few other mus musicians: Alejandro Sanchez, uh, Hugo Santos, and Adrian Zarate. And it's a five-piece band. These are folks who have, uh, according to their bio, a little bit of an eclectic approach. They're, um, they're trained in uh, sort of academic music, sort of like me, uh, but also in progressive music, progressive rock, and theater, and fusion. And uh, they put this band together, I think, uh, several years ago. But the, the piece we're going to listen to today is from a live performance they gave in 2018. And the piece is called Caminos de Agua, and, uh, which translates, I think, to like the paths of water or water paths or... Uh, the water charts. I don't know how, uh, I think that's right, but my Spanish is is not great. <laughs> but uh, I am curious to see what the whole piece sounds like, and I want to share it with you all. We'll see what we can pick out and learn about this piece, and we'll just enjoy it, okay? So, this is Caminos de Agua by Saena, and uh, from a live performance in 2018. Let's take a look. Looks just like a four piece in this arrangement. for an interesting scale um, from this F sharp to a G to an A. Oh lovely. That B flat. Those are some interesting sounds. down to relative minor, B minor. Yeah. That is an interesting looking instrument. Uh, anybody in the audience, help me out. 
Right on. The major chord, major five. So it's minor one to six. So like a five seven. Original. It's kind of an extended D. Yeah. Like C to G minor over D major. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure of the voicings. It's a great example of modal mixture in a major key. They're really in, in this section, in D major, but they're using the minor four chord. And so you get this really interesting uh, raised third of the key, in this case F sharp, but you also get flat six, which is a B flat. Yeah, there's the F sharp. Wow. Lovely voice. Margarita, lovely voice. Jose, Eduardo, sorry, and Adrian, sorry. I think I was naming the people that were in the band originally. Um, uh, so it was good to see the people that were actively involved in that performance uh, as a four piece. Um, from, from a structural standpoint, the thing that I, I wanna talk about is how they arranged that. Did you hear kind of the form of that? We would call that a ternary form. Uh, uh, there was an A section that there was an introduction, right? And then this A section with the vocal that was in D major, and it was marked a lot by this D major sound with the G minor sound with it. And then they moved into this contrasting section in the relative minor and B minor uh, as a B section, and then they transitioned back to the A section, A, B, A, classic ternary form 
uh, as a three-part form. Uh, and, and what most people don't realize, they think three-part form, oh, there's three different ideas. No, there's only two different main ideas, but it's A and then B and then A again, or, or an ad adaptation of A that next time. And it's just a helpful way to uh, uh, organize your musical ideas. Uh, the recurrence of that A section helps the listener to tie back into what the piece is really all about, what the piece's identity is. Uh, it's a rhetorical thing. We understand that in, in speech writing and writing papers, right? You tell them what you're going to say, and then you tell them, and then you remind them what you just said, that sort of stuff. It's just a, it's a way to uh, organize our ideas to help it, you know, stick in the listener's uh, mind and, and ears. So, wonderful stuff. Saina, thank you, um, Juan, for suggesting that. I was very uh, happy to hear that piece. Wonderful stuff. Um, and they don't have very many views on that, so y'all give them some love and uh, check them out if, uh, if you are so inclined. Uh, that's it for today, but it was fun to look at a band from Mexico for the very first time on the channel. So thank you all for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.